The Minister of Mineral Resources and Energy, Minister Greta Mandashi, engaged the industry on several matters, including how investing in artisanal mining can add value to the industry. We've also started a fund to fund artisanal miners. Initial amount, 72 million rand, is not much, but we said let's start with it and we will see if it will work. And our view is that artisanal mining is essential in South Africa because major companies sterilize marginal deposits. And artisanal miners can come after them and mine those sterilized marginal deposits. And that will add value to the industry. That's our view. Matashi says the government is also concerned about the high number of mining shafts that are on care and maintenance. We are very much concerned about many mines, I won't mention names, which put shafts under care and maintenance when we need jobs. It's not the correct idea, it's not the correct uh, business plan. It doesn't suit a financial setup of a company and they put shafts under care and maintenance and we need employment. Our view is that, and, and, and our team was saying, but why don't you use, use it or lose it, a principle? In those cases, I say, no, uh, you don't ride rough shot on the industry. You talk to the industry. Mantasha shared an update on the progress being made to reduce mining rights backlog and other applications. April 2023 to March this year, we processed and finalized 123 mining rights. We processed and finalized 1,527 prospecting rights. We processed and finalized 2,313 mining permits <laughs> and related activities. Mm. So there is work being done. Diabosito, SAPC News, Johannesburg.